Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Box 12 here. And I recently made a video about the new class that I kind of came up with, uh, the Shogun, or Samurai. And I talked about in that video how Realm is getting boring for me. And I wanted to kind of elaborate on that thought um, in this little video for you. I just kind of wanted to put into perspective that Realm has changed over the course of the three years that it, three to four years that it's been out. And how this game, whenever I first started playing this game, Kabam wasn't in control of it. And I know that a lot of people say that Kabam is the reason that this game is bad, and I agree. They have to be the reason, because Wild Shadow's not really in control. They are the company. If the game becomes bad, it's either the person's fault for not taking interest anymore, or it's the company's fault for changing the game. And since Kabam has changed the game repeatedly, it clearly is their fault. And I just wanted to talk about Realm and how it's changed and how we can make it better. And I wanted to reminisce on those days. I was just watching my old videos on Realm whenever I would play, and I was I freaked out over an Endless Twilight, and now if I get one of those, I drop them. I mean, if it's not a Wine Cellar Top or a UT, I don't pick it up. Well, I pick it up, but I'll drop it or give it to somebody. That's usually what I do. I give it to somebody that I know. But um, a lot of my friends are quitting Realm because it's getting boring for them. And I was, not to frighten you, but on the verge of quitting myself. I mean, I would never quit. I don't, I don't quit games. Like Minecraft, I play it every now and then. But that's what's going to happen with Realm eventually. Like, I got into Dota, Dota 2... I'm playing that. I want to get really good at that. And whenever I reach my point, I'm going to stop. And it's going to slowly deteriorate. That's the cycle of video games. You play a game, you love it, you enjoy it for as long as you can, you put it down and you forget about it, and then you reminisce on it one day and pick it up again. <sighs> but Realm. Back to Realm. Amis. White bags. UTs. They used to be fantastic, phenomenal. Getting a white bag was like Christmas morning on digital. It was like a digital Christmas. It's the only way I could put it. My friend, my, my uncle, who got me into Realm, uh, I was at, over at his house, and I, I didn't even know what the heck I was doing. Like He would get a D-Sphere spell, and I was like, oh, dude, save that for me. I, lo I love the wizard. I want I wanna ma I want a max one. He was like, okay, okay. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm the little, I'm the noob sitting in the corner watching him play. Hi. And, um, he gets a bulwark in a snake pit and he was like, wow, that just made my day. And, you know, like for the, for the next like two weeks, he was still talking about it. And that's the power that this game had. It left you talking about it to your friends. Like, oh my gosh, dude, you got to play this game. Like this game was all about fun and teamwork and getting those drops like for fun now it's like i go to oryx and if i don't get a drop i curse at the people that stole my drop and i gotta remind myself that that's not what i'm here for that's not why i'm here i'm here to play to f have fun i gotta follow in cake's footsteps she plays to have fun why can't i i mean yeah i have fun while i play but if like if i pay for a tomb and I don't get a drop, I get mad. Because I'm like, well, I just got cheated out of a life, or two life. And I don't want to be a cheapskate like that, because that's not my personality. And this game is fun, or it was. And then Kabam, if I'm sorry if I'm rambling, but this is that's kind of what this video is. It's a ramble. It's a rant ramble. It's a, that is, I don't know how to combine those two words. They're the same thing. I miss the old realm. Back, there were no pets. This game was hard, okay? This game was hard to master. I mean, with Amis, it was, it was easier, but they were expensive. I mean, it was like freaking 120 death or something. And I mean, now it's easier to get that. 
by running abysses. Like, you know, if you want to max a character on death, just run some abysses. Because you have another character because this game's too easy now. It's so freaking easy to max a character. Some of you may disagree because you're new at the game and that's fine. But let me tell you, you're gonna get better. If you want to get good at this game, you're gonna. Trust me, you will. You might not be able to reach, like, freaking... I mean, I don't want to say my level because I'm not amazing at it, but, I mean, I don't know, you might not be able to. Um, but you will. Trust me, if you just, you know, follow through, you will get better at it. But this game used to be so hard. Screen's going dark. Okay. And I remember, like, I maxed my first wizard. He was 3-8, and I died in a sprite world because I was typing that I got a dex, because that's what you used to do, instead of just typing one. Um, and I was sitting on the elements, and they were killing me, and I was typing my nexus button, but I didn't realize that I was still in chat, and I died, and I flipped out. 3-8 wizard. Moon wizard. I got it that Somebody dropped a moon wizard at Oryx. I picked it up. I freaked out. I was like... Moon Wizard! I could not handle it. It was a great time. It was like, that's why people do NPEs. To relive the past. Because now, no pets, no death from abysses, no white bags every 15 dungeons. No. No, 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 no. Like maybe one 1,500 dungeons you get a white bag. No, you get... You had to get your death from Godlands. That was the that was your form of currency. You got a death, you put that thing away. You put that thing freaking away as soon as you got that thing. That was the good old times. Whenever I used to hoard death pots. Some guy scammed me out of a wisdom because he thought that I was donating it to him and I was like, scammer, scammer, scammer. I was like freaking out over a wisdom. I mean... Then, the ghost ship got added. Kabam was in control of the game. They're like, well, well, let's change up the game. They added the ghost ship. Okay. Added the dungeon that drops from the ghost ship. Okay. Added the UT items that drop from Davy that drop from the ghost ship. Okay. You just changed an entire trickster class right there. Kabam didn't even know it. By adding the ghost ship, they're like, well, maybe, shouldn't it drop a dungeon? Well, I, I do say, I believe that it should drop a, a dungeon. They're not British, but I don't know. It drops a dungeon. The dungeon drops a boss. That boss can kill people. That boss can also drop white bags that can drop amazing items. You changed realm. Right there. For good, for good or for worse, better or worse. What do you think? I think the ghost ship was good. Mad Lab. Everybody loves the Mad Lab. Two bosses. Whoa. Two bosses. Two chances for a, a wisdom. Cool. You have to clear the whole thing, which is annoying. But it was worth it. If you wanted to get that Mad Lab set, you had to. And, you know, it's all well and good, the Sorcerer set. Then, you added the Ninja class. Whoa, a new class? No way, that's incredible. You had to be on Congregate to do it, which I wasn't at the time, still not. Um, and eventually the ninja was released, and we were so excited. You know, just like, oh my gosh, you can play as a ninja. I had no idea what the heck I was doing with the ninja. It was just a class to run around, get level 20, ooh, now I have another star. Ninja is a great class, as I soon realized. But then the fateful day whenever they took away Amis was just so depressing. I had never I've never had an Ami to this day. Never had one. One guy in Davy. This is back before I had Q and E enabled, so it was all sideways. Um he dropped one on the ground, and I saw it, and I was like, my mouse just went right over it, double-clicked, it didn't work. 
Actually, no, this is before I double clicked. This I took I clicked and dragged it. He picked it back up, of course. He was just scamming. He was just trolling me. I was so mad that I didn't get that Ami. And I'm so mad now that I never got it, because that would have probably been the only time that I was ever able to have an Ami. I could never buy one. I could never afford it. I never had enough fame. I had half as much fame as it took to buy one by the time they were taken away. And whenever they were taken away, you still had a chance to be resurrected. But that's stupid. Why? Just a chance to be resurrected? It's like, that's weird. That's not... You don't even know what percent. So then they just took it out completely. They were like, well, this is weird. Let's just get rid of it. Problem solved. It's gone now. Yeah, problem solved. You know what else is gone? About 50% of your community. That's what. So many people left because of Amis were gone. And honestly, I think the Amis should come back only if Realm reset to way back then. Because if you bring it back Amis now, nobody's gonna die. Because they're just gonna freaking stockpile the fame up. Fame train server. Do, 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 do. Okay, buy an Ami. Do it again. Do, do, do. Ami, Ami, Ami. Waste of time. Not fun at all, but you get Amis. You wouldn't be able to buy them anyway because the UT training's gone. But still, you can buy them in the shop. Just like all of those uh, wine cellar drops. What's next now? Selling UTs in the Nexus? I wouldn't be surprised. That's what happened next. They took away Amis. People raged. Then, what does Kabam do? They release Lair of Draconis. Only to take it away! After, like... Everybody's gotten the UT, uh, tier 14 armors. They were great. They were so expensive. I remember freaking, like, one, they were just, oh my god, like 15 life or something. It was crazy. I don't even remember. But then they took it out. And they kept the Eye of Dragon. Eye of the Dragon. Rock Dragon. Whatever. Why would you keep the Event God that doesn't drop a dungeon, that did, but it never actually did, you released the dungeon before the event god, and then you took out the dungeon but kept the event god in. Who does that? Well, this is the only game that has event gods, so I guess these guys do it. I just, I don't, I don't like the rock dragon. He killed my 5-8 trickster. I made a new one. I mean, it's okay, but... I went a good amount of time without a trickster, and I felt bad. Like, that was not good. I, I loved the trickster. He was so fun. Walked over the rock dragon. I was, you know, trying to hit him, walk forward. He walks into me, like, he changed his course. Enough about my personal life, but... I'd say either put in Lair of Draconis or take the Rock Dragon out. He does nothing but trouble. He's so annoying. He doesn't even... I don't even think he drops a white bag. He might. Ink. No Ray Katana, guys. But yeah. After that, all downhill. UT trading's gone. Comes back every now and then. You don't know when. There's no system. Hey, let's... What I'll do next week? I don't know. I think I'm gonna eat a bologna sandwich that day. Better call it the next week. Oh, okay. Honestly. I don't mean to be so down on Kabam, but they have to get their stuff in order. Like, they gotta start. I mean, I understand they just released, you know, these new epic dungeons and Battle for Nexus. That's cute and all. But, I mean, you're only making the game easier. I mean, I like how the crystal now drops a dungeon. I think that that's amazing. But white bags are too easy to get. Pets make it too easy to fight. I think whenever I got my first pet, I was like, can it help me fight or anything or do something like that? And nope, it's just there to be cool. I miss buying pets in the shop. Kabam was making a profit off of that. Really? Like, I would buy pets every time I got gold. Like, every time. It's like, oh, what's the new pet gonna be? Freaking invest into making pets to be sold in the shop. Don't make them be able to give us HP and MP because now we're going to be invincible and nobody's ever going to die. and We're going to run out of room 
in our character slots because we're just gonna max like crazy and that's what happened to me i have nine character slots i don't want to spend ten dollars on this game for one character slot because every time i do that i'm just gonna die on the next character oh now i have two open slots great take another month okay now i have two characters max actually it could probably take just one week but i don't play that much anymore how long has this video been? Good lord. 15, oh, that's not much. 15 minutes. Hey, say no more. <sighs> UT trading's gone. You're selling tops in the Nexus. What was funny? Before they were selling tops, they were selling the, m the most. Or tier 8 weapons. 300 gold. That's $3 for something you could find in Godlands for like in just a matter of minutes like do you have any idea how many horror stabs i've dropped or seen in my mad god life too many i don't even know how many because i don't even care about them that's how pointless they are why would you sell them you're just insulting the community by putting those in there you took out dies in the nexus you added the cloth bazaar hey look at this fancy thing no you've taken away the classicness of realm i would have so stuck with realm a lot more if it was more challenging yes dying sucked i hated that but it was a challenge it was rewarding yeah it was scary but if you had an ammy it wasn't maybe kabam's doing the right thing and we're all just naive but i can't see the problem well i see the problem I can't see what the problem is with Kabam and us. Where's Realm gonna go? They keep adding these new dungeons that don't really mean anything. Candyland, great dungeon. Love it. But it doesn't give you that same feeling as fighting Mixcodal, the masked god. <laughs> I would do that over a Gigacorn every day, any day. I would. Because I used to fight him whenever I was a noob. Whenever I was a new player. I used to fight him. Never fought a geek of corn. What, the, what, what does that even mean? I mean, come on. Almost everybody here can agree with me. Realm. I don't want to say that it's dying, but it's definitely changed, and not for the better. Kabam's got to do something. They've got to, like... I mean, they've added the Golden Gods. I think that that's cool. But Realm doesn't have the same feel anymore. I miss being able to see my stats in the right-hand corner. I don't want to have to go to a menu for that. I miss Realm. It was fun. It was a great game. And... It's changed. And I don't know if it'll ever be the same. <sighs> good luck, Kabam. And good luck, Realm. Hopefully, whenever our paths next meet, it will be for the better. I want you to go back to the way that you were. An adventure. Not this greedy little environment for getting items and maxing a character and being all stingy no i'm gonna go play on my paladin right now and i'm going to fight oryx with all my might and enjoy it as much as i can and not even think about getting a drop from him that is the true mad god way you play to fight oryx save daylight rescue the world keep everybody safe Lather, rinse, repeat. That is realm right there. Nothing more to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you bared with me through this long talk. Is it long? Is it 20 minutes? Just about? Good luck, guys. I'll see you in the realms. Thanks for watching. Check out the next episode when I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.